And they're here now. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so good watching that back, isn't it? Yeah, I guess you haven't crazy. had a chance to see an awful lot of it. Well, I've only seen like one episode, like the first one, and obviously everything has been happening since, but yeah. I've seen quite a lot of it. Yeah. yeah, I've watched a few episodes back. It's really weird, to be honest. I bet it is. Your TV. <laughs> so look, you've been out of the villa for really only a matter of days, and mm. we're kind of, we're in the friend zone, aren't we? Yeah. At this stage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, we came out, obviously, we were only coupled, coupled up for, like, three or four days. And people forget mm. that. So, they yeah. assume it's like there's been this big, lengthy relationship, yeah. and it, it was three days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you think about it, like, we're like, all right, guys, calm down. <laughs> but um, obviously, it's easy to misinterpret. Yeah, mm. yeah. And you uh, were, you know, recoupling with Brad at the weekend, we saw in the papers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not up with Brad. Uh, still really early stages at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I'd see where things go. Yeah, see where things go. Hey, that sounds positive, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. At this stage. I mean, you did have a good connection with him in there. Yeah, so, I did have a really good connection with Brad. Unfortunately, time got cut short. Mm -hmm. um, and then, obviously... And I thought he dealt with that very well. Yeah, 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 he did. He was so mature, such a gentleman. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, mm -hmm. early, early stages. It's all up in the air at the moment. Well, you mm. both missed Casa Amor. Are you grateful for that? Because as a viewer, I'm watching it. It's relatively brutal to watch because you just know there is an awful lot of emotion at this point. Of course, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I'm gutted. It was a boys' holiday. We all wanted to go. <laughs> it was one of those. It's got them holiday. all into problem, that attitude I know, there. I know, it has, it has. I don't know if I would have moved that way, but obviously... We... We don't know, do we? What do yeah. you make of Liam's antics? Because that's kind of taken up the storyline since oh, Casa Moore ended, hasn't yeah. it? What do you think of, of how he's acted with Millie? Because we thought they were the proper solo couple. That's the thing, they were, but I think he got encouraged, he's quite young, and I think he really does, he really, really likes Millie, but obviously, yeah, he was encouraged and kind of well, you say encourage, are you talking about Jay Care? I mean, yeah, Jay, <laughs> but I assume all the other boys are encouraging as well. Like, because if they wanted to, I think everyone wanted to be a little bit naughty and they thought obviously no one would find out. But I mean, guys, you're on TV. Yeah. It's not like. And it just, is Love Island. It is Love Island. Yeah. yeah. Well, having said, I mean, I am. I love Millie and I know mm. you do both yeah. of the Villa together. So you had a very, very close bond with yeah. her. So it was her I was thinking of the whole time. Of but course. to give Liam a little bit of leeway, mm. as you say, it is Love Island. It's what yeah. Casa Moore is all about. But mm. she had, I think she handled herself really well last night. Yeah. I'm so proud of her, to be honest. It's such an awful situation to be in. Um, when I was watching the episode on Friday, I was crying so much. Um, yeah, I do miss her, but she's handled it really well. Really well. Yeah. Strong mm. girl. Do you think they'll rekindle something? Do you think he'll manage to work himself back in there? Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Um, maybe she did really, really like him and they were so solid when I left and it's just upsetting that obviously they've sort of ended it now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe, possibly. Just how gutted was he when he heard that she had to meet up with Lily? <laughs> oh, I was going for him, honestly. When I saw her walk in and then make that announcement, I was like, oh, no. And then went on the, went on the date with Millie and I was like, oh, this is just getting worse and worse. Yeah. I felt so bad for him. All he could do was just, like, smile in awkwardness. I would have done the same. To awkwardness was most certainly <laughs> the word. What about Hugo? Do you think he's found the one? I mean, I, I don't know if he's found the one, but he's found someone, which is always <laughs> nice. I mean, she's a good-looking girl as well, so I'm happy for him. But, I mean, I'm not sure if he's 100% into it. He said job done when he kissed her, so... I mean, he didn't exactly get caught up in the moment, did he? Yeah, I think you needed to be there, Aaron, to guide him a bit, give him a bit of a talking to. There's only so much guiding a guy can do, do you <laughs> <laughs> And what about the postcard element of the whole Casa Moore thing, yeah. Lucinda? Could you have dealt with that? Or would you have found it very, very <laughs> difficult to keep a calm head? I mean, like, in that situation, you just don't know what's going on. Like, you don't know whether that's, like, sort of a trick and whether they're actually kissing or whether it's in a challenge, whether it's outside of a challenge. So you sort of have to guess, but obviously Faye sort of guessed the wrong thing, you know? Yeah. So you just never know. You don't know how exaggerated it is. I felt really sorry for Teddy. Oh. Yeah, I when did. he came back with the teddy. Yeah, the teddy, teddy with, came the back teddy. with the teddy. Yeah. It was all just a bit heartfelt, wasn't it? And then he sort of slowly set the teddy down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Gosh, talk about a poignant and then moment Faye in went Love yeah. Island. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. And I felt so bad for him, but he's, he's just a nice, soft guy. So, yeah. I mean, I know he felt bad about kissing, I think he kissed Clarice or whatever, and so he just obviously kind of ends it a little bit. Yeah, but it, it looked like uh, things were back on track last night, to be fair. Just yeah. how nerve-wracking is it doing that sort of recoupling 
phase around the fire pit. I mean, we all obviously sit at home watching it and it's all for our entertainment. Yeah. But I guess mm -hmm. when you are in there and you're in the middle of it, you, you, you do have feelings at the end of the day. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, I quite liked recoupling. Um, <laughs> just because obviously if you like someone, you want to be in a couple with them. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, I mean, I found it fine. But I know when the yeah. boys were doing their speeches, you guys found it. <laughs> God, I hated the speeches. Did you? Yeah, the recoupling thing, it was like, I think when you're standing up, at first, obviously, early stages, it's nerve-wracking because even when you think you know someone's picking you, it's like you're not 100% certain. Of course. Um, but then, yeah, the speeches as well, like, it's, just, it's long. I know. But you've got a long day to think about it, don't you? I mean, you've, yeah. you know, that's well, what you've got to do. A lot of the time, it's just thrown on us. Yeah. Oh, I suppose so. Right, mm. yeah. you get a text. They, you get a text <laughs> yeah. and off you go, yeah. right. So who do we want to win? Well, I still want Liam and Millie to win. I think he can pull it back. Really? Obviously, like, I think even if it's, if it's on the outside world, he could pull it back. In there, it's a lot more intense and they're going to see each other all the time. Yeah. I think he's got it. Oh, OK, that's interesting. What about you, Lucinda? Yeah, I wanted Liam and Millie to win because they were like my parents in there. Um, but obviously now they're sort of like broken up or whatever they are. I don't know. Mate, I definitely want Millie to win just because she's my girl in there, um, yeah. whether it's with a new person or hopefully rekindling Which things Which could happen, um, isn't it, yeah? But it's so mm. difficult for any of the new guys. I know you came in a bit later. Yeah. It must be really difficult at that stage to come and try and wedge yourself into a setup where there, there have been bonds created already, like mm. the girls and the guys at Casa Mora, that's such a difficult time, I think. Yeah. Because you're potentially not there for terribly long. No. no. Of course, yeah, it is difficult. But, I mean, all the girls in Casa Mora, they'd done it, it seemed. All they the boys did. were just, they were moving mad, like everyone's yeah. been saying. They all but, yeah, the guys on the other side struggled a bit, but some of them came through. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy one. We will continue to watch Undoubtedly. It's lovely to see you both, <laughs> honestly. And I really Thank loved you. you two together, albeit yeah. for that couple of days that yeah. it was. But, yeah, at least we're you're good friends. There's a friendship, at least, yeah. at the end Yeah, of it. definitely, definitely. Yeah, which is yeah. A, it's a good enough. So thank you so much. Lovely Thank to see you, you both. Well, Love Islands, of course, continues tonight at 9 o'clock on ITV2. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.